We've heard the old saying, ignorance is bliss. But according to one biofuels expert, ignorance may be threatening the nationwide expansion of renewable fuels. At a conference here at the Alamo City, farmers and ranchers were given an inside look into what's behind the food versus fuel debate. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine has that story. The Middle East now controls 66% of proven oil reserves. Smoke and mirrors. That's what biofuels lawyer Brooke Coleman has to say about the food versus fuel debate. Coleman is the executive director of the New Fuels Alliance, an advocacy group which promotes renewable fuels. Coleman says the biofuels industry is in the middle of a well-orchestrated smear campaign led by food makers and environmental groups. Grocery Manufacturers Association of America, so the food wholesalers and, and folks like that are, are, are the ones putting the money uh, into the campaign. And it's a lot of money. Uh, there's also rumors that the oil industry has been pumping money into that PR campaign as well. Uh, there's a lot of concern about it. Internationally, anytime grain prices go up, but what they've really done is they've, they've used that problem uh, to try to take out something they don't like. Coleman says changing public policy away from fossil fuels is part of the problem of the debate. Those sentiments were echoed by Farm Bureau President Bob Stallman as part of his keynote address during the American Farm Bureau's annual meeting. Ag-based energy such as biofuels, wind and electricity from waste digesters are capable of powering an important share of our nation's renewable energy. According to Coleman, anti-biofuel groups have made their case in the national media, like Time Magazine. He says environmental groups are pushing some states to look at indirect ripple effects of biofuel production. He says that's unfair because neither petroleum, electricity, nor hydrogen is measured in that way. Coleman says policymakers need to be better educated by the ag community to ensure that agriculture gets a fair shake. The policymakers in this country, uh, particularly ones on the coasts, don't always understand uh, that we can do more agriculture, that we can do it smartly, uh, we can use less inputs and, and use less energy, and, and really do both food and fuel or, or do the energy and biomass thing on the farm. Coleman urged conferees to bring the truth of biofuels to the news media. He says agriculture must promulgate the story of biofuels starting from the grassroots level. I think you got to do it through things like the Farm Bureau and, and, and your local chapters. And you got to ask those local chapters to, to work uh, aggressively on PR and go and sit down with editorial boards and, and educate people. In San Antonio, I'm AJ Sabine for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Coleman says biofuels are a hedge against increasing demands of oil by developing countries like China and India. Right now, China burns through about 4 million barrels of oil a day. By 2012, it's expected to go through more than twice that.